college football, November 3rd. No, November 5th. November 5th, playoff Sixth. ranking. November 6th, 6th playoff Selection ranking day. reaction. How do we not know that? That's a crazy, right? This is the playoff ranking reaction show for November 6th. Let's go on and jump into this bad boy. We're going to take them five at a time. Okay. Like we did the last time. Number the bottom. Number 25, Washington. Number 24, Auburn. Number 23, Fresno State. 22, Iowa State. 21, Iowa. Uh, look, Washington is number 19 in the Massey Composite. Auburn is 27 in the Massey Composite. Fresno State is 16. Iowa State is 24. Iowa is 18. Any problem with any of those? Well, I, I have a problem with one that's in the middle. And and it's it, – but all of those, the way they are – no, I mean, I, I do think Fresno State should be up there a little higher – um, here's, here's, here's a problem that let's, let's address or talk about before we get into this. Cause it's going to carry throughout everything else. The logic and reasoning for all of these things changes depending on what the team is. Okay. Yes. So like I, I fully understand all of the people who get on me about UCF. Okay. And how, if they played head to head against all of these teams with three or four losses, they would lose, and so therefore you can't rank them higher than them. I, I I understand all that, but but then they take another mediocre bad team that has nothing but losses, wins against bad teams, and one win against a good team, not a great team, and and they throw them way higher than they should be. Everybody below them, I would pick to win the game, not be favor, not not just like like cover a spread, but win the game outright. Okay. Well, we'll get to who you're talking. I know exactly who you're talking about. But we'll get to them. This lot early. right here, I think some of these guys should be higher than this. I mean, I know that. that like Fresno State, I do think should be higher. Yeah, I here, think they should be Here higher. are the four teams in the Massey Composite top 25 that were left out. So okay. the Massey Composite, for those that don't know, MasseyRatings.com, they have a – it's 110 different computers that all have their own analytics system, da 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 and they just average it all up. Correct. And these are actually the best teams in the country by the numbers. Number 20 in that is Missouri. Now, they've got four losses. It's tough to justify them being in here. No, But they are like two plays away from being 7-2. and two. This is my issue, though, is, is I think some of these four-loss teams maybe are, better, finals, are, than, are better than a lot of these other teams. They lost early or they lost – you know, big games against like like the game against well, Alabama. Missouri like, yeah. played Alabama and Georgia. Yeah, like like that's tough. Like you're gonna have some. And they, losses they lost when you the last second that. game to uh, or last yeah last second uh, loss to Kentucky. Kentucky. You know, yeah, like you're gonna have losses when you play some of these teams. And they I, just I like Florida. I like Temple. I and I'm super biased. I know they've got early losses to bad programs that they should not have. Now, Temple is number 57 oh, in the sure. composite. Oh, no, well, I mean, you can't have a loss to Villanova and be in the top 25. Yeah. But I, I'll tell you this right now, there's a lot of teams in the top 25 that Temple's better than. Today, I, I think today, I today get down with that. they're better than those teams. I, I think I could definitely get down with that. Um, so, it, it, the four that were left out of the Massey composite, like out of the top 25, number 20, Missouri, number 22, Utah. Now, I could see leaving Utah out because Tyler Hunley's out. And, and so they've got three losses that might would have been enough to stay in other than the fact that Huntley is out, right? Uh, number 23, Utah State. Utah State, their only win over a winning team this year was against Hawaii. Yeah, you can't do that. Numbers and Hawaii's wise, not though, a good team. Numbers, numbers wise, Utah State is light years ahead of everybody. They're 8-1 and one right now. They are steamrolling teams. Like, they are just killing them. Um, they lost – like, had they won that early game at Michigan State – like I could, they would definitely be in the conversation. Well, yeah, but then that's a that's a big win though. That that'd be a nine and zero team. That's right. Uh, and then number twenty five is South Carolina, and so you know, take with that what you will. They're five and three, uh, should maybe be six and three. They had a game canceled because yeah, of the hurricane. Correct. So six and three, uh, but they're they're number twenty five. So let's before we get into the CFP top twenty. Uh, the show is, as always, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six awesome sports books down there. They got the Gold Strike, Horseshoe, Sam's Town, Hollywood, First Jackpot, and Fitz Casino. You can find all the information on those over at tunicatravel.com. You can watch them wager on any of the games, college or pro, down there Saturday, any, any night of the week. Doesn't matter what night it is. Go down to Tunica, do that thing. Also, football picks contest over at winningcureseverything.com. Our podcast, 
our YouTubes, our picks, our previews, different articles that we write. Everything is over there. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Check that bad boy out. Next batch. Penn State at number 20 after a just beat down to Michigan. Uh, Penn State is number 20, but they are number 13 in the Massey Composite. Texas at number 19. They are number 26 in the Massey Composite. Michigan State is number 18. They are number 15 in the Massey Composite. Boston College, they are 7-2. and two. They are 17, but they are 28 in the Massey Composite. Mississippi State, number 16. They are they got three losses. I understand that. They're 6-3. and three. They're number 12 in the Massey Composite. Any problem with any of those? No. I don't think so either. No, I'm good with I'm good with all of those teams. I like I like all those teams. I think they're good. I think they're good college football teams. I'm glad that they're not just sticking to rating uh to to records. I I do like that. Um however, once you get towards the top, kind of feels like they might be sticking to records. You know, like this whole batch of teams, Penn State, Texas, Michigan State, Boston College, Mississippi State. Boston College has two losses, but they haven't played near the schedule that Mississippi State has. That's Mississippi right. State has three. Right. You know, it makes makes sense. Uh, the next batch, next five. 15 is Florida. They are 17 at the Massey Composite. Number 14 is NC State. They are number 21 at the Massey Composite. Number 13 is Syracuse. They are 29 at the Massey Composite. Number 12 is your boys UCF. They are actually 10. At the Massey Composite. Yeah, I can't believe after some of the carnage that happened this week in college football that they didn't get bumped up. Um, and But that's not the one that – are we done? Uh, Kentucky is no, number 11. 12. That's right, we get to 11. Yeah, Kentucky okay. is number 11, and they are number 11 at the Massey Composite. So so what, what I think about this batch is, is the NC State one is the one that I – literally every team below them in the top 25 – I think can beat them. I know they got a win over Boston College. I think they were at home for that one. I think I think I think right now you play that game. I think Boston College can hang with them. Well, Boston College had AJ Dillon out. I think yeah. every team below them, every one of them, can and would beat them if they played. I I think I would agree. That's with that. my problem. Is why are they up so high? Yeah, they they've only got two losses. I I get that, man. But they haven't beaten anybody. So if we're gonna say. UCF hadn't beaten anybody. What the hell? UCF's beaten just as many people as, as them. More. They got no losses. And they don't move up. They're only two spots away from NC State. And Kentucky with two losses. Uh, now, granted, Kentucky's two losses no, two were. two losses big boys. Yeah, no, they, Texas they, A&M yeah. and uh, this past Georgia. week to Georgia. No, no I'm not. I, I think they probably should have fallen a little farther. But I'm not beating up. Kentucky at all. I mean, they're, no, a, they're Kentucky, a good team. They're Kentucky a tough was team. nine last week. They dropped two spots. Yeah. That that I mean, a loss to Georgia that makes sense, right? Dropping them out of the top ten is the right thing to do. I would have UCF above them, but that doesn't you know. It's just a logic. Do you think they would beat UCF head to head? A lot of people probably do. Yeah. I don't know that I agree with that, and that's okay. We're never going to find out because they'll never play. But the the issue that well, I we don't have, know that. Well, maybe the the issue that I have is. <laughs> What is the argument for some of the other teams that haven't played anybody but have a really good record and we have them abnormally inflated? That's now, my I, that's my issue with the whole thing. You change the rules based – you look at the team and you say, I'm going to make this argument. Who uh, who does NC State have left on their schedule? You you keep talking and I'll I, I will. Uh, I think that they might have Syracuse bumped up because Syracuse next week plays against Notre Dame. So I think a lot of these are like setting up matchups. So this you week, know how much I hate that. Though. I know, I know, I know. Uh, this week Georgia and Auburn play, and then Clemson and Boston College play. Wow! And wow! All right, who's who's NC, NC State? Got? NC State's going to finish five with 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 two losses, and that's it. NC State plays Wake Forest this week, Louisville, North Carolina, and East Carolina. They're going to, but who who have they beaten? Uh, they've beaten Florida State. Terrible, terrible football team. They got hammered by – well, they, they, they got they, beat by Syracuse. They barely beat Boston College Clemson. after they knocked the quarterback out. Which, but okay, no, that's not, a, not, not the not the quarterback, but yeah. yeah. But, but that's a good win. That's a good win. I'm giving them complete credit for that. They beat in Virginia. Yeah, Virginia, good win. Good win. Uh, it's an okay win. Careful. 
beating Marshall. Woo. The Virginia, the West Virginia game got canceled. Yes, it did. Congratulations to you, North Carolina State. They beat Georgia State and James Madison. They've got a good win and an okay win. That is it, and they're going to finish with only two losses. That's crazy. And we're going to have them in the top ten before this damn thing's over with. No, no. It's, That's just It's just garbage. Yes, they are because they want to inflate the ACC rankings because everybody else in the ACC is getting beat up. Clemson's going to beat Boston College, which is going to knock them out of the top 25 probably because that's what they do. And I, I don't know, man. I just don't I just don't like when they single-handedly pick a team. If you're going to say UCF doesn't belong because they can't beat these other teams and they haven't played anybody, then why UCF wins are better than that. I assure you of that. Let's move on to the next batch. Number 10, Ohio State. They are number 9 at the Magic Composite. Number nine, West Virginia. They are number eight at the Magic Composite. Number eight, Washington State. Now they stood. They they stood firm, and it, with a close win over Cal. So obviously there was a little bit of respect there. They're they're number fourteen at the Magic Composite. Number seven, LSU Tigers. They didn't drop far with with two losses. They dropped from three to seven. That's a lot of respect for Alabama, and I, I can get down with that. Yeah. I mean that makes sense. I didn't um, have them in my top ten because I just thought there there's some teams with with one loss that are better than that. Uh, number six, Oklahoma. They are number six at the Magic Composite. Any problems there? No, I mean I don't have any problems with any of that. I th- I think I think we're getting to a point where I think all of these teams are are pretty damn good. Yeah, I think I, agree I think with that. LSU's the worst offense left in all of this bunch, but I I think their defense is pretty elite level against everybody they, in the country. I will say this, they are Not doing a Alabama obviously. They they're doing a good job of keeping teams that beat other teams ahead, ahead of them. Of them. I, so, I I do kind of like that if you're head to head with somebody. Yeah. But you've got to have everything else too. Like you can't say I know I'm I know I'm beating the dead horse with NC State. But you can't say well they beat Boston College so we got to keep them ahead of them. I don't know that you do. I, I just don't know. Look at the Boston College wins as opposed to your wins. Well, I mean, it, it, if you look at Massey Composite, like mm-hmm. NC State is 21, Boston College is 28. Yeah. So, like, it, it, it but makes this, sense. Uh, well, okay. So, but, so uh, NC listen, State over Massey BC. Composite's not always right either, though. No, 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 it's not. I mean, it's, it's, not. Been, it's been pretty far off, too. Um, I will say this. like, So, they've got, uh, they've got Kentucky over Florida. They got Florida over Mississippi State. They got Mississippi State over uh well, They don't have Auburn. over LSU. Uh, huh? They don't have Mississippi, uh, Florida over LSU. No, but they got that. But win. they can't. Um, yeah, well, because Florida's got three losses. Okay, well, they got know. one extra loss though. It's, I mean, yeah. it's not a lot. That, I mean, no, you're right. You're right. Uh, at that point, I mean, you can't. I mean, they just got beat at home by 21 to Missouri. Like it, it's impossible. Look, I don't think they belong there. I'm just saying. You you got Michigan State at 18. You got Penn State at 20. Uh, you got Penn State over Iowa. 20 and 21. You got Iowa I, over I Iowa State. I actually think Michigan State should be rated a, a lot higher than that. <sighs> Man, I don't know. I mean, Michigan State, they're, they're number 15 in the composite. Mm, I don't know, man. I mean, they're 6-3. They're and three. Like, where where would you have them? 14? Like, 13? I guess, I guess over NC State and Syracuse, right? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and I'm sure if I like, don't know, they, maybe maybe not against Syracuse. I, I I like Dino Babers. I like Syracuse. Maybe I'm wrong. Go ahead. I think I like. It, I've beaten if, the NC State thing enough. We don't if, have to if keep Michigan State up. goes and beats Ohio State this weekend. Well, then, no, then they're gonna yes, vault. you're gonna see some. No, then they're gonna vault. They're gonna go way over 18. Yeah, I think I agree with no, that. No, I, I think they're vaulting a lot of spots. All right, so the top five because we'll have a lot of three loss teams then. I mean, just yeah. a. A, a litany of three loss teams, then. but Ohio State still won't be a, a three loss. Well, no, they team, won't be a three loss team, but they're, they're going to fall. Be, yeah, they'll fall pretty far. They'll fall really far, actually. Um, let's see, top five, number five, Georgia. They are number three at the Magic Composite. That doesn't surprise me at all. Michigan, number four. They are four at the Magic Composite. Number three is Notre Dame. They are number five at the Magic Composite. Number two, Clemson. Number one, Alabama. Those are the the right numbers yeah anything there no not really nothing i think i mean that i think that's the five best teams in the country i think i agree with you i i've, I've heard a lot of people giving me oklahoma and and they're, they're good 
They're a really good football team. Well, the, the only top 25 team that Oklahoma has played so far, they lost to, and that was number 19, Texas. They, and, they got and, no other top 25. And Texas is a three-loss team. And so, in the Massey composite, Oklahoma has beaten number uh, – let's see. Number 38, Texas Tech. Number – my my problem wow. with my problem with oh yeah see it's bad I mean, it's really bad I mean it, well, it beat number, Army oh Army thirty one yeah. yeah okay uh, TCU number sixty yeah that's the next that's the next one uh, Baylor number sixty three yeah yeah so so this is my problem with Oklahoma is they haven't they haven't really played you know they, you know and they've been crazy? tested a lot about this like the Big Twelve is still the number two toughest conference how. Oh well, I guess West Virginia being up at number eight probably helps that. But that is okay. They got one team. Uh, the big how's the Big Ten not? They got two top ten teams. Big Ten is number three. How's the Big Ten not better well, than the probably Big Twelve? Probably because Rutgers is number one seventeen. Oh, because, the, because the, that's so. But okay, so that's that. None of that matters then. Let's see who else. Because once you get to the bad teams, if if your bad team is number sixty and another team's bad team is number one hundred and twenty, like that doesn't matter. They're still terrible. I mean, I'm with you. But so, I, I'll, I'll say this: the uh, the Big Twelve does not have any. Da, 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 they don't have any teams in the bottom 100. They got Kansas at number one. That's it. But that's it. They don't have anybody in the bottom 100. But they also don't have anybody, anybody outside of the top 25, other than Oklahoma. Yeah, you're right. And and it's pretty far down before you get to the next team. Who? I mean, it's not just well, they're 26 or they're 27. You got Oklahoma. You got Texas. And Texas might not be there by the end of the year. They are they are setting up for a Washington Washington State matchup to be a top twenty five matchup. Yeah. They're setting up for Auburn Georgia this weekend. But I, I think Washington belongs in the top twenty five. I think they're good enough football team. Yeah, I think I think they're pretty good. They're a three loss team. They're number nineteen in the composite. That yeah, makes sense. There's a lot of teams above them that I would a they would be favored over if they played. If Vegas made this, it would look way different, and and I think well, that there's who? a lot of teams above them that they would beat. NC State, yeah. Well, obviously, I will give. I, but, don't, I don't have the numbers in front of me. You're looking at them. I mean, look. So, it, it, Washington, Fresno is, State. I think Washington's better than Fresno State. Okay. Like we're giving them the U, UCF treatment. I think they're. I think I'd like to see them play Iowa State. I think that'd be an awesome game. I think they're better than Iowa. I think they're better than Penn State. I think they're better than Texas. I think they're better than a lot of those teams. That could that can make I mean, sense. This is my opinion, obviously. No, that's that totally makes sense. I think Washington is still a really good team. They got three losses. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna lose some games sometimes. We just don't and, live in a world where everybody's gonna have undefeated seasons. We're we're into November. It's gonna get a lot more tense. I can guarantee you that. As always, go over to tunicatravel.com, check out all their information on their sports books. They got good stuff down in Tunica, Mississippi. Go over to winningcureseverything.com, check that bad boy out. Previews, picks, football picks contest. Getting that bad boy, it's free. Enter that thing. Uh, yeah, you made leave, it through the whole podcast. Yeah, appreciate that. That's pretty impressive because Big we have been talking you. for two, two hours? about two and a half hours now. Uh, Thanks, guys. That's a lot. We appreciate you guys' support. Hit that subscribe button for us. As always, leave comments. Tell us what your thoughts are. We uh, we appreciate hearing when we're wrong, and we will be wrong. I guarantee you that. You put yourself out there as much as we do. You got to. Yep. We. I, I swear we will be wrong again. We're going to do it again. But I also tell you this. If we're right and we know it, we're going to let you know it. Ain't that the truth? That's right. All right. com. We'll see you guys next week.